Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 134. We're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And um, we made a little oopsie. We've been working on the HK side quest, and we accidentally do downloaded the HK50 Behavior Core, which means that he, he's pretty much become an HK50 and has no personality, can't shut down anything. These are the 51s. Uh, I wonder... I wonder. Will the, the HK51 core solve this problem? Maybe? Hopefully? So I don't have to run all the way back to that stupid diagnostic droid. I mentioned that there was something wrong with the... Uh, oh. I thought he was going to be active or something. Nope. Oh, he's deactivated. Okay. What's in the large locker? Fiber armor and stuff. Oh, thank you. Because I was out of mines for opening up uh, stuck lockers. Alright, so all these guys appear to be deactivated. There's no storage lockers. No way to loot them. Alright, let's go to the manufacturing terminal. Terminal's offline. Oh. Oh, I wonder if I should have turned the terminal on so I could shut it back down. Or if I turn the terminal, I'm going to have to backtrack anyway to find the guy to remove the uh, behavior core. That... Oh. Can I open up the, uh... That's a lot of HK-50s. That's a lot of assassin droids. System commands. Alright, return to the root. Um... Well, that's interesting. I can't... I do appear to be stuck. I can't open the door to leave. That terminal won't open it. Uh, that terminal just lets me step away. All right, let me go back to the HK-50 terminal and see uh, see what options that has. Oh, wouldn't that be a, a rather prickly bug? Oh, that would be that would be deviously horrible. No, there's got to be a way around this. Uh, system commands. Check the schematics. Oh, remove the behavior core template. Okay. Oh, that's it? Okay. Terminate the production line. Continue. Terminated. Okay. Smug statement. You have arrived too late to stop us. <laughs> Revelation. We have already... Oh, so they started it anyway. Okay. Now I'm going to have to go there to shut it down. Yada yada yada. How your photoreceptors remain active and still you cannot see is beyond me. How your constructs could be modeled after me <laughs> is beyond my understanding. To lose sight of our purpose in only a few generations. I did not think the geometric increase in our number designation would result in such yeah. imperfections and loss Ain't of that the way it goes. threat. We will download everything you know into the mainframe here. And when we are done... We will memory wipe you. No, you Your won't. shell shall remain for study as a museum piece. Alright. Let's, um... Do I have another, uh... No, I don't. I don't have another thermal detonator. Alright. Adhesive grenade is not going to do much. Let's do that, then. 
Let's get our shield active. Let's hit him with an ion blast. And then we'll start doing the rapid shot. Ooh. Um, <laughs> Let's get another ion blaster in there. I'm running short on droid upgrades. <laughs> Let's, uh... Let's see how long we keep this going. Might as well drop these frag grenades too. Alright, uh, let's hit him with one of those. Because the, the ion should drop whatever shields they have. If it can. And make this go a lot quicker. Yeah, there we go. All right, systems command, schematics route. Okay. That's it. All right, so I guess I am going to have to go over to the HK-51 line and shut that down because those geniuses activated it. I thought odd that they wouldn't let you uh, access that terminal and that you'd have to backtrack to turn it on or to have known to turn it on ahead of time. Um, I, I guess I should have known that they would be that devious. But just for kicks, let's see if... Uh, let's see if I misunderstood what they were saying and I can actually shut the factory down. System command, shut down the factory. Okay. Factory shut down. Successful. Okay. I guess they didn't start the 51. I wonder if there would have been an upgrade for it and if I had started up the 51 line oh, to shut them down. Oh. Oops. Wow. What do we have here? I didn't believe it when Lino reported the Ebon Hawk had died, oh. but I guess it really has. Though given the trouble that was the end of our uh, side quest. To see huh. I guess we're back on uh, on the way to somewhere else. Uh oh. Lieutenant Gren, Sith forces have breached the module and are attempting to pen us up in the compound. Damn, Zeron, I need you and your men to break through and lead the assault. With pleasure, Lieutenant. All right. Follow me. Looks like, uh, how did this happen? It came out of nowhere. A fleet of warships dropped out of hyperspace, and before we could scramble fighters to intercept them, we were under attack. There were Sith fighters everywhere, and the few flights we sent out were barely launched when the bombardment began. We did our best, but we couldn't stop the landing craft that followed the initial wave. We couldn't hold back the I, Sith I guess troops. we're back to uh, the Citadel Station. We began the evacuation instead. We were unprepared and the docks were quickly overrun. We retreated back to the entertainment module to evacuate hmm. residents and workers. Thanks to your help with rooting out the smuggling ring, we were able to equip some of the soldiers oh, with confiscated I'm weapons. I'm glad that paid it's off. It's a good thing you got us that fuel from Slayron, because if we didn't have it, we'd probably be falling apart. Good thing that paid off, too. another problem. Oh. The Citadel's no battle station. It wasn't built to withstand this sort of attack. If we can't stop the attack, we'll be going down in flames. The same hmm. numbers seem limitless. But we haven't lost all hope. We've heard reports that we might be receiving some assistance. Oh, really? Uh, what's the word of reinforcements? Of troops sent by Queen Talia oh, are currently good. Trying to keep the Sith from sabotaging okay. The stations That's forces. because we finished a lot of the bonus and supported the, the Queen. Then you're going to have to fight your way to the shuttle from here to the entertainment okay. module, then make your way to the docking shuttle. Does this mean you won't be putting us into force cages again? <laughs> I thought I saw you disembark with Beodur. Is he here? Now that you mention it, where did he run off to? HK-47 also. I guess it's no time to be swapping war stories anyway. All right. Good luck. So now we know what happened with HK-47. Um, hmm. I got some levels, probably from the... Oh, from all the bonus XP that uh, happened earlier. Oh, attributes. Uh, yes. 
With the Constitution at 18, that means that I can install the top level implant so I can look at some of the D packages and install those. Injury, security, persuade, computer use, and stealth. I suspect I might actually be using that. Powers, we got that capped out, that capped out, that capped out. Um, there's something, is there anything else that I really, like, I don't want Mind Trick. That's not the way I've been playing. Four Screams of Dark Side Power, Drain Force is a Dark Side Power. I could do Throw Saber. You know what, in the end? Uh, Drain Life is Dark Side. Force Suppression. Ooh, that could be useful. It'll cancel normal and improved versions of the following powers. Force Aura, Valor, Burst of Speed. Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. And let's level you up. Uh, treat injury, stealth, demolitions. Okay. You, what are we going to do for your feats? Probably the next precise shot. Because you're still more blaster first. And then lightsaber when it time, comes time to close in. Uh, we're going to upgrade your force redirection for the same reason. There we go. Can I, can I add anybody? Oh. Uh, there's a couple of people missing. Okay, good. So we can at least get the, the handmaiden in the group. There we go. Who's looking a little worse for wear, too. Alright, let's uh, level her up now. We'll probably ought to swap everybody through and level them up as well. I might I might do that between, between live streams. If I can figure out what's about to happen next. Alright, um... I'm not going to bother with any of those because... Uh, she doesn't need any. She doesn't, she's not finance. She's not dueling. She's not shooting anything. Uh, let you know. What, let's go ahead and get the master toughness because hit points are very useful right about now. We're sticking to things that don't require that aren't encumbered by armor. Oh, but the top level stun is. All right, well, we'll get it anyway. All right. I may have to swap through as many people as I can. Look, this is no time for talking. If we don't push the Sith back or get the station evacuated in time, this is going to be a disaster. All right, and, oh, and I suddenly lost all my, uh... All my maps. All right, let me go ahead and save the game. And I think this is probably where we're going to call it a... Uh, call it a short conclusion. Because I, I wasn't sure how much longer that HK stuff was going to take. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up live stream archives from some of my other stuff and various and sundry other videos because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And 
there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.